Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we're going to the assemble Xiaomi Poco C65. First of all, we need to remove the car tray. For this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole, carefully push out the tray for SIM cards and memory cards. If the tray comes out badly, we can additionally use tweezers. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching or peeling of the back cover. To detach the back cover, we first use a thin metal tool to slightly lift the cover from one edge because it is recessed in the middle cover and then push the thin plastic film and use the thin plastic film to detach the back cover. It is worth noting that around the camera core we have the back cover is glued additionally. So we need to be careful when detaching the cover in this place. So we carefully remove the cover and put it aside. We don't have anything presented on the cover. Then we need to unscrew the screws at the top and bottom. To do this, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips HTO. It looks like all screws are the same, but we recommend placing them on a special surface in a certain order, just in case. If the screws don't come out well, we can additionally use a magnetizer. If the screws get stuck, we can additionally use tweezers. And we continue unscrewing the screws at the bottom. As always, we leave one of the screws that holds the speaker in place, so that the speaker doesn't interfere with the detachment of the middle cover. And we move on to detaching the middle cover. To do this, we first use a thin plastic film to unclip a few clips. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the display frame near the car tray. We run the film along the edge, unclip a few clips and then use a thicker tool. As always, we need to be careful around the side buttons and fingerprint sensor as they are physically located in these places. And we also need to be careful on the corners, as the core is held especially tightly on the corners. So we detach the cover, lift it carefully, turn it over so as not to damage the fingerprint sensor cable. Then, using a non-metallic tool, we disconnect the battery connector and disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and remove the middle cover where the antenna contact pads are located. After that, we unscrew one screw with a, a one and a half mm Phillips screwdriver which fixes the speaker. We put the screw aside and we need to remove the loudspeaker. As usual, we find the right place where we can hook, lift and remove the loudspeaker. After that, we disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the coaxial cable connector, and we can try to remove the subboard. Also, in the right place, we hook, gently lift, and remove the subboard. And of course, we need to peel off the heat removing coating that is attached to the vibration motor. Well, on this subboard, we have the charging port, microphone and other elements from the back side. In the display frame we still have the vibration motor. And now traditionally quick test the microphone hole. As we can see we have a microphone hole located in the display frame. It has an L shape and the hole is perpendicular to the microphone hole on the subboard. Accordingly 
if we insert anything into the microphone hole, we are unlikely to damage the microphone itself. We move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector. We disconnect the connector for the display cable, aka the interboard cable. And we can detach the front camera. Carefully detach the front camera, put it aside. Then we detach the rear cameras. It is better to hold the cameras so that they don't accidentally fall out and we don't damage the lenses. Ok, we detach the last camera and we can move on to removing the motherboard. We also find the right place where we can gently hook and then lift and remove the motherboard. We remove the motherboard, as we can see on the back side we have the thermal paste applied. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the brown tabs. It is written on them in what sequence and what exactly we have to pull. Unfortunately, we have video damage at this point. But all we have to do is pull the brown tabs that are on the edges upwards. So we pull the brown tabs on the sides upwards, thus detaching the battery. So this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and we'll see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.